Well, I'm very, very happy to introduce to you our musical guest, who's no, um, of course, stranger to South Africa or to our Expresso audience this morning. It is the amazing, renowned Sita. Very nice to have you on the show this morning, Sita. Good morning. Good, morning. good So you've been on Expresso before. This is not your first time, right? Uh, yeah, I think I've been here before. Wonderful. We were doing a JC Superstar promo. Yeah. yeah. That's wonderful. Well, cool. I think the last time that I saw you was with Jesus Christ Superstar, and you are such a diverse artist. I mean, you've been in musical productions and theater productions, and you're, you're a singer. Now you're presenting something that is very new, but so close to your heart because it's part of who you are. It's like going back to your roots. El Cantante. Tell yes. us more about that. Well, <clears throat> um, a lot of people don't know that I have a Hispanic background. Yeah. Uh, my mother's Puerto Rican. Uh, most of my siblings were born there as well. Mm -hmm. I was born in the States. But, um, you know, I was raised in the church community, Hispanic church community, and all of us brothers and sisters sang and harmonized, and we always sang in Spanish. Mm -hmm. And, you know, both of my parents are musical, but my mother, uh, in particular, she would, she would pick up the Spanish guitar and sing uh, Puerto Rican folk songs, and, uh, and that's been a big sort of influence in my life. Um, but I've kept it quiet for many years. Obviously, it was quite irrelevant in South Africa and uh, decided last year to do something with it, and, uh, and it's been quite a journey. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. So you, you've had this passion to do this for so long, because I know that Wunderboom's been around for 17 years. That's right. You know, what, what kind of prompted it? Like, did you just feel like now at this time in your life you just had to go back to your roots? Well, I think once I started doing musical theater in 2006, um, I started exploring different avenues, and I've actually got about five different music projects going at the moment, um, all very different to each other. Yeah. Um, so I've sort of had my eyes set on doing something in Spanish for a while, yeah. but never had the courage because it's you know it's something, you know, if you're not speaking Spanish fluently or regularly, yeah. you get quite rusty. Yes. Yeah. So. Um, and then, uh, and then I also uh, launched another uh, Spanish project mm -hmm. called South Africa. South Africa. <laughs> which is a 12-piece salsa band. Yes. Um, and we launched that in February. So Amazing. I'm really going into it head first. You I know? love it. It sounds so exciting. Now, what can audiences expect from El Cantante? Well, El Cantante is a little bit more of a troubadour, desperado style of, of performing. Yeah. So like mariachi, we're oh, standing there with acoustic awesome. guitars. Um, Martin, the lead, sing uh, lead guitarist of Vonnebuim, mm -hmm. uh, actually joins me on guitar. Awesome. So we got like a bit of a Tex-Mex feel to a lot of old traditional Spanish Caribbean numbers mm -hmm. to a few salsa numbers that we've sort of interpreted into a troubadour style. Yeah. Um, but yeah, some slow, some, some up-tempo. Um, I don't know, expects fire and passion in lots of Spanish. <laughs> As is the Latino blood. Well, yeah. I can't wait to hear it. We are going to be hearing you perform after the break. Um, cool. It was a sold out show in Johannesburg, so I'm hoping that it's going to be the same with Cape Town because there is one show only in Cape Town at Bertie's Mooring in uh, Gordon's Bay on the 21st of April, so it's not to be missed. You're going to get one chance to see this. Joe Burgers loved it, and I know that Cape Town's going to love it more. We are going to see Cito at after the break, and of course, he's going to be performing one of the songs from El Cantante. It's going to be Muy Caliente.